Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. I'm excited to be with you today and cover a topic around the spiritual journey around NOFAP and semen retention. So if you are new here, the Main Corps is a community for men that are digging to the core of who they are to find out what it is that they really want and who it is that they really want to become. Please subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified for future videos. We cover three topics here, masculinity, health, and relationships. So again, very excited to be with you today. We're gonna to cover a topic here that one of the viewers posted after a, a recent video of mine. And uh, he had some questions about the spiritual journey of NOFAP and semen retention, what my experience was. And uh, we got into uh, you know a pretty good exchange there. So I really do appreciate the question. Um, and you know, for any of you that have interest in either a topic in masculinity, health, and relationships, you want me to cover a, a topic in a future video, we're gonna do it the same way. So I'm just gonna, you know, this is community here, so um, I'm, I'm going to be learning along with you and, and just sharing what I know and, and my experience. And I would appreciate it if you would drop in a comment and let me know what you guys want me to cover in any of those three areas. So again, the, uh, the spiritual journey, and, and I wanna be clear here, this is not going to be a, a kumbaya, uh, like spiritual journey. It's just, I'm not here to preach a fucking religion or anything like that. Um, this is really going to be about, you know, taking a look at the more of the psychological and more the experiences of uh, a personal journey that I've had and uh, both the viewer had and what I see from a lot of different viewers. So uh, these are very real instances. These are very real results and uh, very, you know, real credible sources that uh, we're going to be covering today. So, you know, when you, when, when you think about what you, when you're engaging in fapping and when you're looking at porn all the time, um, what you don't maybe realize from a day-to-day -day perspective is that you're going to be carrying around a lot of shame, a lot of guilt, a lot of, you know, lack. You know, you're coming from a place of, I don't have, so I must get, and you're, you're, you're seeking a reward that I've said before, you haven't necessarily earned, or you're taking shortcuts to gratification or to pleasure yourself. Um, that instant gratification, you know, the, the order that I get, the and what I see a lot of times is people want the quick fix, they want the quick turnaround. Um, and I think it's because of what they're used to with their devices. When, when I want something, I, I can pull it up on my phone. And that instant gratification has very detrimental effects to other areas of your life. If you don't have a good understanding of, of the drawbacks that it has. And to me, it's, it's very common for instant gratification to, to really be a problem that permeates other areas of our life. Okay. I just, you know, I'm not very good with girls. I don't really have an interest in, in learning how to like seduce them or talk to them or engage them or date them or improve my dating skills or anything of that nature. So what do I do? I'm just gonna go and, and look at shit on the internet and relieve myself and five minutes later I'll be fine. Well, that's just shortcuts. And it doesn't matter if you look at investing, if you look at building a business, it doesn't matter if you look at becoming a manager, um, a millionaire, these things by and large for the most part do not happen overnight. We all know that. Um, if you are you know, thinking that you can go out and purchase the, the next get in shape pill at Walgreens or become a better uh, manager by reading one book. If you think it's just one quick fix, you're gonna fucking fail. So these are, these are results over the long term. You know, investment is a little bit each day um, and how it stacks in your favor over the long term. It's just like investing in yourself um, or you know, getting in shape. If you were trying to get down to a particular body weight, you didn't just do that because you went to the gym for one day or one week or a fucking hour. Um, it took time and it took consistency, time and repetition. So, you know, when I, when I say shame and guilt, that's important because, you know, these things all have a very detrimental effect about how we feel about ourselves. So, 
subconsciously, if, we, if we're carrying around a lot of guilt and a lot of shame about what, we, what we've been doing privately, well, you have to think about what kind of value you then see yourself as having. Okay, well, if I'm carrying around a bunch of guilt and shame, I will probably tolerate a less quality group of friends, a less quality job, uh, a less, uh, you know, just, and, and in a lot of areas of my life, I will, I will tolerate and I will put up with, you know, less than what I deserve. Because if I have a lot of guilt and shame and I'm coming from a place of lack, uh, and I'm trying to take shortcuts. I don't really value myself, so I'm going to tolerate that stuff. It's it's conceivable that you know people who engage in this kind of um, action all the time, why they why they settle for you know lower paying jobs or a less than satisfactory career or relationship or partner or wife or what spouse, whatever the case may be. Because, you know, again, because they don't value themselves, because they don't, they, they haven't invested in the long term, um, because they haven't, you know, taken the time to actually take ownership of it and they, they just were looking for the quick fix. They're not really in a place to really be honest and deal with it. Well, it, it makes sense why the life around them could potentially be in decay. Um, it makes sense. If you don't value yourself, nobody else is going to do that for you. And you will tolerate a much less quality of life, quality relationships, quality of career. Like all these things are all, they're all relevant. And again, if you're carrying around, around a lot of guilt and shame, you know, who else can you look to, to, to really blame for that? Um, I understand the temptation is there. I get it. I, I still, I still have it all the time. But, you know, it's developing a, an emotional and a, and a muscle memory within me and a discipline in me that I have never thought was even possible. And we've covered that before, how it affects other areas of your life. But, um, you know, those are, those are the traits that I think commonly men experience when they're constantly fapping all the time. So... If the results around them, if the relationships of the dating or their career or their job or their attempts are falling short and they, they can't really, they're sitting there scratching their head like, why, what's going on? I, I'd be willing to bet that, you know, a lot of them have this kind of issue where they're carrying around a lot of stuff and it's not easy to deal with it. It's not easy to... And it certainly hasn't been easy for me to be forthright and come here and, and share some of the shit that, you know, I, w I buried away for a long time. But, you know, I had to feel it to heal it. And part of my catharsis in, in, in doing that was to just verbalize it, to just get it out. Um, and again, it's, it's not easy. It's everybody's going to go at their own pace. This is not something that we're in a race to do. But um, being honest with it and, and, and being open and, and just letting it out. Um, you know, facing it head on. Those fears and, and a lot of that shame and guilt, they're not going to go away unless you actually contend with them. Um, fear will meet you halfway. What you fear, you attract. So if I have a lot of shame and guilt, I probably have a lot of fear about how people perceive me, how, uh, how they understand or how they might find out about the things that I'm doing in the privacy of my own home that they may find out that I actually, you know, don't really work as hard or that I'm kind of shortcutting my success, uh, that I have a low investment in myself. Well, I mean, again, it makes sense why, you know, a person like that would, would, would tolerate less than, than what they want. Um, I'm not going to be, you know, energetically or vibrationally aligned with people who, when, they move away from no fat or when they move off of fapping and they, they adopt a more no fap semen retention, conscience cleansing. If they're, if they're conscious about their efforts, if they're actually making strides and they're actually putting goals together, moving forward with it, if they, when they say they're going to do it, they're going to do it. If they move forward with it, these are the benefits that are very exciting to talk about. And, you know, 
I love to be able to come here and share this with you. And this is something that I shared with the, uh, with the viewer. Uh, we've covered the, the bad side of it. So what you'd be carrying around if you're constantly engaging in that stuff. Um, you know, there's a lot of other really good things. But from a spiritual standpoint and from a psychological standpoint, you can basically take the list that I just went through you and take the very polar opposite of those qualities. And this is what you'll experience. So when I said shame and guilt, well, you know, if, if I'm coming from a place of pure honesty and my conscience is clean and I'm very invested in that effort and I'm very invested in getting better, um, I value myself and I value my efforts. I value my progress. It's just natural. There's no way to, to, you know, to engage in a process of like restricting yourself and actually dedicating yourself to this, to these efforts and not have these benefits, not be able to experience a lot of the good things that happen. Um, when you are, when you feel good about your efforts, when you feel good about yourself, especially as a man, when you feel really good about the things that you've been doing and investing in yourself, your, your energy is totally different. You're more, energetically and vibrationally aligned with a higher quality of people, a higher quality of life. And that's not bullshit. It's very true. You know, when, when you move from the bad shit that you're experiencing with fapping and into the good, what you'll, what you'll experience is that the shit and the people and the circumstances and the jobs and the relationships that you used to actually tolerate and you'd be okay and you'd commiserate with, you're so fucking turned off by and you you basically, in a very natural way, you just distance yourself and you separate yourself from those people in those circumstances because they turn you off and they're actually moving you further away from the goals that, that you've been setting. And you just, it's hard to explain, but you, you just, you kind of move away from each other. You know, people that I used to tolerate and that had a negative worldview and that weren't really invested in themselves, that used to be my circle. And it made sense because obviously I didn't invest in myself. Well, now that's totally different now. I really feel good about the people that I have in my life because they invest in themselves. They give a shit about themselves. They know where they're going. They have goals. They have missions. They have a direction and a purpose. And... I'm more energetically and vibrationally aligned with them now because of the investment that I've been doing in myself. I feel good about myself. My energy is, and I'm not talking about like energy, like I, I was able to run an extra mile. We're talking just a, a, an energy that is very internal. So when we talk about internal game and developing internal game as a man, this is the energy that creates the attraction that so many people talk about and uh, post about and want to find out about about doing no fap and semen retention. This is the very energy that women are picking up off of. It's not about being a um, a Greek god or being able to bench 350 pounds or because you have a a mansion. You know you're going to attract some kind of women by doing that. Um, but you know they're very surface level and they don't really have a lot of depth to to who they are because again like attracts light. Water seeks its own level. If she's very shallow and that's the thing, those are the things that are important to her, well, she's going to be energetically aligned and attracted to people who kind of just surface level are just strong or have nice shit, even though their life may be in total disarray. So this is the energy that, that, you, that women are picking up off of. It's not about being rich or strong or, um, you know, good looking, you know, those, those are nice qualities, but we don't, not everybody has those qualities. I'm actually a fairly short guy. You know, would I like to be taller? No, but I feel really fucking good about myself. And, you know, I like the results that, that I see in my life. I like the people that are in my life. I like the job that I have, the house that I have, and I'm grateful as shit for it. I've worked really hard for it. But what is going on is I have a level of of investment in myself. And those efforts are never going to end. We, we as men, we can't ever give up on the effort of, of uh, becoming the best version of ourselves as we can. 
Once we get to the top of a mountain, and we've all experienced this, uh, you set out to achieve a goal and then you got there and you're like, well, fuck, I, I kind of feel the same. I don't really feel, I, I don't feel like I thought I would. I don't feel as fulfilled or as um, moved or, or motivated anymore to, to pursue this any further. Because once you get to the top of the mountain, once you're up there and you can see, oh shit, there's an even bigger one over there that I need to go and attack. So it's, it's understanding and accepting that that process of investment and growing and educating and, be, and evolving and becoming the best version of ourselves it never ends. And it's certainly gonna go the wrong direction if you're, if you're fapping and you're taking shortcuts and you have low energy and you have low interest in yourself, low end investment in yourself, you're, you know, you're looking for the quick fix, you're going the wrong way. Um, you know, but by continuously investing in yourself, you're just gonna be more energetically and, and spiritually aligned with people who have the same kinds of views as, they, as you do about themselves. You're, you're not gonna wanna be around people that, that don't value themselves or that are carrying a lot of shame and guilt because it's, you're just, there's an energy there, there's a vibe that you just, you're not interested in. You know, and it's kind of cool because, you know, circumstances will just kind of um, depart you from either that person or that job or new friends or new jobs or new partners, um, new prospective relationships, whatever it is, will just kind of start to show up. And whether you want to call that distraction or a, a new um, alignment with um, with a higher, like a higher quality life. Um, to me, I think you could consider it both. But you know, your heightened sentences are, are another one. So, you know, in the post, we talked about, uh, you know, just the heightened sense of all, all of your, all of your senses, everything gets elevated. So your sense of smell, your sense of sight, your sense of, um, what you hear. So like, you know, your audio, I mean, everything, every, uh, everything that you taste. So for example, you're going to find that, that foods taste a lot better. You're going to find that music sounds a lot better. You're going to find that you're more emotionally moved by a piece of music or a movie. Um, you're going to find that, that the smells are a lot deeper or that they're, they're a lot richer than they used to be. And it's not that these things are just brand new. You know, these things are always going on around us all the time. But because we have a higher energy, because we are more vibrationally aligned with the good, and because, you know, we're, we're not carrying around a lot of guilt and shame, we're more in touch with who we are and we're more invested and we're more in the present moment and we're more focused on, you know, the things that are constantly around us that we're not so distracted by the bullshit and the brain fog and the shame and guilt and bullshit of, you know, fapping and looking at porn all the time. You're not doing yourself any favors. Um, you know, I, personally, I found that, you know, when I really started to get clean with my act, you know, I was, there was a couple days and you could even go back on the, on the channel. I think I got a, kind of got a little emotional on a, a couple of videos and again, it wasn't easy to come here and, and, and spray all this shit out on the internet publicly, but it was part of the process. And what you were seeing, or if you go back and watch them, what you'll see is that like, I'm processing through emotions that were actually trapped and I wasn't dealing with. And I was locked in the, you know, I need, instead of actually dealing and contending with the issue, that locked energy, that locked emotional state, uh, I would go and look for the quick fix because I didn't value myself and you know, whatever. So I would just go take care of it. Well, when you don't do that, you, you, you have no other choice, but to then surface and face the shit that you've been burying. So much in the same way that, you know, you're going to, you're going to face those things. There's nowhere to run and hide. And you actually process through a lot of the shame and guilt and a lot of the locked up emotion. And you're able to just, you know, have a clean conscience about shit. So you'll actually see it in some of the videos. And, um, you know, it's, it's, 
it's really cool because you know now when I when I listen to even some music that I've uh, I've always listened to, it sounds different. Um, the foods that I'm enjoying and 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 certainly that are way better for me because I've been taking uh, much better care of myself. Uh, I actually really enjoy their their very clean and vibrant foods that I would have not really paid much attention to. I wouldn't have done. I wasn't invested in myself. Why would I give a shit about the the what's on my fucking plate? Well, it's a very different story now because I actually really do. I'm taking my health way more serious than I did before, my physical and my emotional health. So it tastes better to me now. Music sounds better to me now. Um, you know, just everything, you're more in touch with what's going on around you because you're not so distracted with the shit that you've been doing. And, you know, it's it's that energy, it's that attraction that is going to attract you to the people and the circumstances that are are designed for you, not by chance, not by luck. It's not about any of that. Because you're investing in yourself, because you've taken the time, you're clearing your conscience, you're making the effort in investing in yourself and you're doing it for the long term. These things are showing up as, as, a, as a natural side effect of just doing those things in life. And, you know, I hope that learning both sides of those from very real circumstances, very real people, very real testimonials, um, can help you guys, you know, stay motivated and stay on track. Um, I always love to hear your stories, so please continue to, to share your comments and, um, you know, add your feedback. I, you know, I, I'm really grateful that we can come in and, and all be very supportive here in the community. This, is, this has been my goal, this has been my purpose. And I love serving you guys. So um, I'm learning and failing all the time as well too. There is no hierarchy here. I'm not gonna come here and, and pitch religion and, and think that I'm leading the class. This is, I may be running the videos, but I'm learning just as much from the comments and just as much from your experience. That's why I always ask you guys to share your journey. Please do that. Um, and uh, let's continue to grow this community. I'm, I really, I really do enjoy this. This is, this is very cool, and I think that there are a lot of men out there that are not only in dire need, but they're, they're really getting a lot of value from this. So, uh, again, please share your comments, like the video, share the video, and do share the channel with anybody that you think would be a good contributor or would value from the content here. We are building community for better men, my boys. So. I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.